All right, everybody, welcome back. So, Nintoni, you did it again. Oh, this is Coconut Mall from Mario Kart Wii. Yay! So, I, I read your post on Discord, and apparently, you made this, and you said something about other people who've made this in the past, but. I, I don't ever remember people making this in the past. I've seen something like on Reddit before, not related to the Discord, but you don't really see many people make this. But yeah, this is uh, Coconut Mall from Mario Kart Wii. They brought it back from Mario Kart 8 DLC. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! You know, every time I think of this stage, I think of Princess Daisy. Like, it's just like a Princess Daisy type stage, you know what I'm saying? The thing about Mario Kart Wii was, she actually had her own stage, I'm pretty sure. I haven't played Mario Kart Wii in a, in a, whew, <clears throat> a little bit. Probably a couple years, probably over, over six years. But yeah, man, this is nice and awesome. Are you trying to outdo me? <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, unfortunately with Stage Builder, you can't go all out. You gotta, you gotta sacrifice some stuff. Maybe in the next Smash, 10 years from now, Mr. Sakurai, he'll be like, I'm gonna say, 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 i he didn't have to put Stage Builder on here, but he did. You know, he put it in Brawl, and then he put it... He's like, I can do better. And then he made Smash Bros. 4, Stage Builder, and he's like, I can do better. And then he made this one, which is the best Stage Builder we have. But yeah, man, this looks awesome. Um, You said you might do edits to it in the future. I think it looks great. Just, just play as Princess Daisy versus Wario. I don't know. I don't know. It just feels like a Daisy stage. It's like all orange and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Awesome stage, man. Yeah, you keep it up. All right, everybody. Why did I say that again? So, this is, uh, okay, uh, let me say this right. Maridon? Miradon? I'm pretty sure it's Maridon. So this is Maridon from Pokemon uh, Violet. <clears throat> and then you have, uh, you have, you made another stage with Coridon. Coridon. From Pokemon Scarlet. Let's be real here. Violet is just better. And everybody who picks Scarlet. They're like, oh, I just picked it because it's red. Exactly. You know, Maridon has a better design than Coridon. Let's just be real. Let's keep it real. You know. You can't lie to me. You know it. Anyways, let's get on with this. So. Hold on. He's trying to tell me something. So sad. He's just so. He's just so. Bing chilling. Yes, yes. I like ice cream, too. So, he eats everything in this game. Well, I never played Scarlet, but I'm pretty sure it's like the exact same thing, just different legendary. They're always trying to eat your sandwich on those quests. But yeah, I love Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet. Um, <clears throat> you made this. It's just it's just a legendary. There's like nothing more to it. Just a drawing. There's a rail over here. I'm not really sure what, you know, there's like probably a magic trick happening. You must be a magician. But yeah, there's actually two. Two of each legendary in the game. I'm, I'm guessing the same for Scarlet. So, you have him from the beginning of the game. And then near the end, the professor, he lets you uh, use him. Because you unlock all of his abilities, like fly. You can surf. You can climb up walls. You can jump higher. And then... Near the end of the game, you fight, at least in Violet, a uh, spoilers, you fight a a second version. And they were having like a, a territorial, like, this is my turf. And they're like having a fight. And then at the very end of the game, you have a fight with the professor and you uh, you beat the other legendary. Oh! That, that story's messed up. Spoilers. The, uh, this is spoilers. Skip to the next stage you don't want to hear 
But, um, I won't spoil it too much. But, basically, that Arvin guy, his his dad was the professor in Violet. And his dad was dead the whole time. He was, like, wondering where he was. He's like, he worked too much. But he was dead. So, at the end of the game, you fight, like, a uh, an AI clone of him. And he, he couldn't leave, like, the uh, Ground Zero or whatever it's called. Like, it's just, like, that's messed up, man. But this game is super amazing, despite all the, you know, bugs and stuff, but, yeah. This is a nice stage. I'm surprised you actually went out of your way to make two versions of it. You must really like this, uh, what is this, Gen 9? Yeah, I like it a lot. I put, like, 50 hours into it. And then, uh, I was, I was about to complete the Pokédex. I, I only had, like probably 50 more to go but they're like i had to trade for the exclusives and uh it's like that's just so much work and you can't really find anybody you have to type in the codes and hey guys austin john plays here you know type in the codes that wasn't working austin john help me i did buy the double pack but i gave the other copy to someone for their birthday so, I kept Violet, because I like it better. But, it's like, oh, no! Yeah, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, and the catch rates on here are just ridiculous. Like, they always pop out of the ball. It's like, come on, stay in the ball. But, yeah, I went on too long. Oh! Awesome stage, man. Yeah, you keep it up. Alright, so this is pretty cool. This stage is called uh, Donning Dunes. Um, let, let's go, um, head over to the Discord. Let's find out what it says. I like that, uh, pokey. Let's see what the Discord says. Creator's Notes. I haven't been at this in a while, and I personally don't see this stage as anything too crazy. I just made it for the gimmick, and I hope that you can enjoy playing on it as much as I enjoyed making it. Okay, so it's an original stage. Moving blue platform and ceiling that mimics the main ground. <clears throat> okay, that's interesting. So it's like a Desert World-inspired Mario level. That's pretty cool, man. I like the Pokey. Um, he has like an extra spike on his face. But, uh... Is that supposed to be... That can't be his nose. Because his face is right here. Have you ever built a snowman? Do you want to build a snowman? Who, who sings that song? Ariana Grande or something? You should tell her, have you ever built a snowman, huh? How about we have a singing contest? I bet I'll beat you. You're goofy to think you can challenge me. Look, we're getting off topic here. This is a desert level. Original, but it's inspired for like the Mario series, obviously. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I got distracted. I'm trying to recap what we were just talking about. Damn you, Ariana Grande. <laughs> or maybe it's Billy, Billy Eyelash or whatever. I don't know who sings that. But, um, yeah, so you got the question mark block. You have the moon. So it's like a nighttime desert level. We don't got many of those. If you play a Paper Mario, the Origami King, there's like a... I don't think anybody's ever made a desert st uh, level. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. Ah! Oh, wait, wall jump of victory. <laughs> Hell no. I almost is my last stand. Is my last serenade. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I heard it in a song, but yeah, not <clears throat> not the uh, whatever snowman song. But yeah, it's like uh, it's like that purple desert from Paper Mario uh, Origami King. I've never seen someone made a stage like that based on that. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of that because the purple. But it's the sky, not the sand. But yeah, this is this is nice, man. Not too crazy. This is better than the average thing you see on here. I like this pokey right in the elevator. Does this lead to my demise? No, it actually stops up here. Okay, that's interesting. And you have three coins. Bring, bring, bring. And then um, question mark block. Okay. Oh my gosh! Yay! See, this is kind of... If you're playing, like... I don't know if you ran out of room. I don't. I didn't check if it was a four-player or eight-player stage. But if you play with, like, eight people, it's going to be pretty chaotic. You better watch out or you're going to die. Because you can't really see this. So you might... You might, like... Ha-ha. You make a, a cheap shot. Ha-ha. And then you, you fall to your death. And, um... That, that's no good. 
But I like this Pokey, man. That's nice. This is not a too crazy stage. This is a nice stage. Awesome job. Yeah, you keep it up. Oh my gosh. We're already starting. Oh, wait. He's, he stopped his car. I thought he hit the emergency brake. Okay, so, um, anyhow. Haven't done that all this video yet. Anyhow. So, this is based on Professor Layton. I believe it's like a DS, like, mystery game franchise. Um, that's like a nice car you made. It's like all old-fashioned. It's very Sherlock's Holmes. You know, um, because he's, uh, he's a mystery solver. But yeah, you can get hurt by the car. It's like, why is there so much wind blowing? I guess it's to simulate him driving on the title screen. Wow, Professor Layton. Have you, have you ever seen that one TikTok thing where that, that guy's like, It's official! I am now licensed! Um, did you just get your license, Professor Layton? Because uh, I don't trust you behind the wheel. You're driving with the emergency brake on and uh, I don't feel safe around you. But if we head over to the... Yeah, don't do that. If we head over to the uh, Discord, I don't want to read you a book. But just to sum up, <clears throat> as I shall do. <laughs> Quite an amateur, amateur stage I made. Wow, a year ago or so. Now, but even then, it's a work I'm rather proud of. As unpolished as it may be, might go back and try to recreate it sometime. Okay. As the title screen changes a little bit when a game is in progress, adding UI elements, continue, and bonuses. But this is... Is all my impatient but... But you put two butts. You put two T's on the butt. That's a butt, not a butt. That's a that's a butt like your butt cheeks. But could muster at the same time at the time. Do people know how to use proper punctuation? I'm reading this and like some of these sentences end too quickly. You started you started a, a sentence with a capital and you know look, I'm not the I'm not the grammar police. I don't Believe me, I don't even know how to write an essay. But, um, you know, that's besides the point. The ground has a soft wind blowing over it to, s to stimulate the latent mobile driving up the road, as it does in the game. Standing on the ground has fighters shift left and right. Okay, I'm done reading. If I wanted to read, I would have joined a book club. Yeah, that's right. Book club. Books are for nerds. Actually, I'm a nerd. And I find that offensive. But yeah, it's like the new game... <laughs> Look, I don't know what's even happening anymore. But <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, it's like a mystery puzzle something game. I'm pretty sure it's like on the DS and 3DS. But it's like, oh yeah, I gotta solve mysteries. But yeah, just watch out for his car because he don't know how to drive. I am now licensed. So sha sha, he just all bing shooting. Yeah, awesome stage man. Oh, ow, 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 ow. That's no good. Awesome stage man. Yeah, you keep it up. All right, this is the last stage, everybody. Wow! So this is the Wing Cap Tower. I've seen that that uh, one guy who makes the Half-Life stages. He also made this. Anyhow, so this is Wing Cap Tower from Mario 64. It's funny. Um, you know, I was, I was playing the Sonic game, and I was playing Pokemon, and then I, uh, I started playing that Nier Autonoma game, and then they had, like, something against me. They're like, you can't use the name Jason... And I was like, okay, you know what? I played the game. I played a little bit of it. And then I was like, you know what? I want to play some Mario 64. And that's exactly what I did. I played Mario 64. I've always played it like at least at least three times each year. 100% at each time. It's just it's my second favorite game of all time. But yeah, and then I played Luigi's Mansion. And then I, I was like, oh man, uh, what, what happened after that? I think Crisis Core came out. And I started playing that. And then uh, now I'm playing... Sack boy, a big adventure, or whatever. It's just, oh my god, my backlog is piling up. I can't with this. But, um, look, that's besides the point. This is the wind cap tower. So, like, you know, you get a couple stars and you look up at the castle. You look up at the ceiling. And you get teleported. And then you, like, and then you you uh, you collect the red coins, and then 
you, you get this one of the 15, I think, Castle Hidden Stars. 15 or is 16? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 15. Did I not read something? What is this right here? I didn't even mean to do that. There's there's something right here. Did you put a lever inside of this just to stimulate, like, stepping on the block? Stepping on a beat. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just had to do it. And then this is the wing cap box. And then you like reset the music and it like, oh my god, I had to hear this from the start again. Whoa! But yeah, it's like, oh my god. You know, some kid he tried to tell me, he's like, that's the that's the song from uh Super Mario Bros. Wii when you get the star. I'm like, actually it's from Yoshi's Island. And then they made a version of it, Mario 64. And then they made it in whatever game you're talking about. He's like, no, I, I insist. It's from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Whatever, kid. I, look, I'm older than you. As, a, as an adult, you have to listen to me. But yeah. Anyhow, I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, um... I like this. I like the bricks you added to this. But... I, I probably would have put like a blue background. I like that you chose this this sky background because it makes the reds darker. Some some backgrounds can make the colors washed out. Like uh, if you choose like a uh, uh, you know certain backgrounds, like that blue sky or whatever, with like the water. I don't know what you would call that. But yeah, man, this is awesome job. I guess you put this here. It's pretty clever, just to st stimulate, like, oh, I'm uh, simulate that you're hitting the the switch. They're kind of like the P blocks from uh, not P blocks, just the the blocks from Mario World, sort of. You know how you hit them and they make the blocks appear in levels, kind of like that. But yeah, man, awesome stages, everybody. Look, if you want me to explain, if you play Yoshi's Island and you turn into Baby Mario and you like run around with the cape, this same theme plays. When you have the wing cap. And then they made that theme in this game. They, like, made a new rendition of it. And so some kid was telling me, like... He's saying something like... Mario Bros. Wii... Or Wii U... When you get the star, it has the same theme. That's where it's from. I'm like, no, kid. It's from 1995. That was, like, the first appearance of it. It's just some kid arguing with me. Like, you little brat. I can just pick you up and just... I can just... Give you a wedgie, you know, honestly. You like that, huh? Uh, but yeah, I don't know what's on what. Yeah, anyways, also stage everybody. I will see you next time. Goodbye.